responding to your comments. Cheers, Joel, for putting this one out here about more proof videos. So here's a proof here. When we talk about x to the power of zero, what does that equal? Well, we always say that x to the power of zero equals one, or anything to the power of zero always equals one. And two to the power of one, for example, is two, because there's only one of them. And two to the power of two is the same as two times two. So why is anything to the power of zero one? Well, let's look at this this way. x to the power of a times by x to the power of b is x to the power of a plus b. And if you're dividing them, then you minus the powers like so. So following that same logic, let's try something like this. Well, two to the power of three over two to the power of two, well, you minus the powers, and then that's going to be two to the power of one, because three minus two is one, which is just two. That's the same as saying two times two times two over two times two, you can cancel two of them out, which leaves you with two over one. That's why we have one left when you have two to the power of one. But how about something like this? Two to the power of four over two to the power of four. Well, that's two to the power of four minus four, which is two to the power of zero. Now look, this and this, well, this would cancel out. And the same on the bottom, the same on the top is going to leave you with one. Anything divided by itself is one. Therefore, this would be one. What about this x to the power of a over x to the power of a? Well, that's also just going to equal one. And a minus a for the powers means x to the power of zero equals one. And there is your proof.